This is video is showing you how to solo the Legend Lost Sector and to get the new exotic chest plate. We've done the Titan run, this is going to be on a Warlock. So if you haven't seen the Titan run, I'll just break you through again the modifiers for today. So we have the K1 crew uh, quarters, it's on Legend difficulty, not the Master one. So a lot more people are closer to 1300 power, so it's going to be more easy to do for most. The mods are Anti-Barrier Champions, Overload, Haunt Knife, which means there's Solar Shanks, so we need to take into account of that. Match Game Equipment Locked, all that stuff's on as well at the top. Income and Void, and Aerial Damage is increased, that you take. And Arc Burns on for you, so you get a 50% damage buff to all Arc Damage sources. I'll just quickly show the Exotic, which you got on the first run. So, takedowns with weapons that have a damage type matching your subclass element. Grant you super, uh, energy, super energy. While your super energy is full, you instead gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage of the type of matching your subclass element. So, there's a lot in that. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it sounds very powerful. I have not, I have yet to use it. The video is more focused on how to get it, not a review, not a review of it. So the setup is as follows: an overload bow, a anti-barrier scout rifle, which is solar. It's blue. If you want to use the Raid Solar Scout Rifle, go ahead and use it. Like I said in the previous video, I don't use Raid Weapons so much because it's a courtesy thing for people so that if they haven't got it, because it's a solo channel, right, and you can't solo many Raids in this game, then they're probably not going to have the solo loot. Therefore, they're probably not going to have the Solar Scout Rifle that I'm talking about. But you might have this one here because it's a blue drop. Um, or you could run a Solar Bow and then a Kinetic Scout Rifle. The solar bows are the Valentine's one, and forget the the vow or whatever they call it. And then there's the raid bow, uh, and then there's a gamut bow. So there's only two bows that are applicable. Oh, and obviously there's the exotic solar bow which you could have used, and you know not run a exotic. We're using the exotic machine gun Thunderlord, which is very good for ad clear. Plus it's both 50% damage buff. I could have used literally anything in this crew as well, Cliff Coil, an Arc Rocket, anything that's got Arc on it is going to do you well, even a sword would do good, because obviously there's Disrupting Blade in the game now. But no, we used Thunderlord and it's pretty decent on Champions as well. My mods were on my armor, um, obviously prioritize Discipline Recovery on a Warlock, Energy Fire, Rage of the Warmind, Shield Break Charge, Wrath of Rasputin, and Global Reach. So all that means is that we can generate cells, which it doesn't happen much in the run, as I'm using Fun Lord most, but this Scout Rifle can generate it, so I ended up putting it on, uh, but I didn't use much of the Solar Scout. But we did have High Energy Fire Shield Break, so when we break a shield we get that, dam uh, that damage bonus, and there's a few shields in this, so that's handy. Having Arc Damage Resistance on is handy, because there's a lot of Arc Damage. Machine Gun Reserves, Machine Gun Scavenger, um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, we did have GL Fire on for some reason. I forgot to switch this off. Um, so it would have helped if I put Machine Gun Fire on. But that's just me laziness forgetting to change it. Um, but that was the setup. With this run, we'll be focusing more ad control using um, our Machine Gun. So as much as possible, kind of spamming it, in effect. Just to, You don't have to spam your machine gun you can save it for the champions as, as I say it's really good on the champions you're going to see in a minute um, just because it's above by 50% obviously if 50% damage buff wasn't on for arc I wouldn't be using funnel art but pretty good when it's like this just going to um, fight from this rock here we're not going to be going down there at all just fighting all the adds but mainly you want to get all the um, adds down first get a stun and get a pulse nade on the champ which gives us that extra bit of damage, we're just going to spam Fun Lord until it was finishable. Um, and as you can see, it easily deals with the champion. If anything, I was a bit slow getting to him to start doing um, damage because he, he was sort of stunned behind a rock. So if he was if it was a clean stun, it would have been even easier to take him with Fun Lord. So that's that first bit done. Now we'll use um, a bit of bow here. When the ads start gathering up, like so, do a healing and do a bit of uh, funnel art. Your objective right now is to get as much adds down as possible before the um, 
and I buy a champion spawns. Now the explorer shanks spawn on my left, which I didn't realise that's where they come from, so just be wary of that. Um I was obviously fine in the healing. I'm gonna back up to this rock here, try not to jump as well. I know it's natural to do so, but try not to and get you really weak. At this point we're just gonna sort of um bait the anti barrier. We haven't got the sniper on. Um gonna be a little bit slower. Ideally I would have liked to use a solar bow. Um and then an anti barrier sniper, but there is no solar bow that's easily obtainable for anyone. There is the one from Last Wish, but if they haven't done Last Wish, if the person hasn't done that, then they can't do the run. Uh, the way I was wanting to do it with a solar bow and then um, an anti barrier sniper and then a uh, funnel lord. Obviously, there's the um, exotic solar bow, but then you can't run funnel lord. I'd done that style of run on my hunter. The objective was to do. Um, all three classes with sort of different types of weapons, not the same we not the same weapon setup. We've got to sell this, we'll destroy that, which takes out a lot. Uh, that was I believe that was from the Explorer Shanks. The Explorer and because that's solar splash damage, you get to sell that way as well. So uh, that's really good. Now we'll focus the uh, dregs and the vandals and stuff. We do get a stun here, um, wasn't probably the best, so I would advise doing a healing right now, which I didn't. But we got a stun here. The pulse nade does a lot of damage. We're getting a lot of pulse nade energy because of the setup with Chaos Reach. When you kill enemies, you get like ability energy type thing. And plus, we've got a high ish discipline stat, so there's that. And we'll take the Solar Snipers at the pack. Get a cell as you can see. So I did get quite a couple of cells. Obviously rolled off the map, so it doesn't matter. Pick up any heavy that you have lying on the floor. And then we can start the next part. Well the final bit to it. Take the solar shanks first before the boss the, before the anti barrier starts to tether them. Once you dealt with that you want to bait the uh, anti barrier shield, like so. get that we'll do a pulse nade and then just fund a lot and we get another cell so we we'll use the cell as well to take damage where all the uh, adds are surrounding the boss front of us. and then what you want to do now is just clear out the rest of the adds and then it's just you and the boss there is an additional champion that's linked to the boss's health but you can take the champion after you've killed the boss, which is easier, because the anti-barrier, you let the anti-barrier come out, the anti-barrier will shield the boss, making it hard work. If you want to do a super, I've done a bit of LMG, run a lot, damage, and then use the super. Obviously I've got Geo Mags on, so it lasts longer. And then we can just use Funnel Lord to clear out any ads remaining. I know that there's one ad left. But he's tethered, so that's fine, we've got a healing rift. Due to our high recovery stat, we have plenty of healings to do. Now we can just use a bit of Funnel Lord, bait out the first shield. Get a stun, and then we can finish with Funnel Lord. And the last final add. And that's the run. And as you see, this is my first run on the Warlock, and you'll see that I get the best player at Despair. So as you see. Um, that was a solo run on the Warlock, hope you enjoyed, thank you.